Today we are talking about why billionaires are selling Nvidia stock to buy two other AI companies. For more stock news, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get into the video. Many investors view Nvidia as the epitome of artificial intelligence stocks, largely due to its chips, which provide the computational power necessary for training at cutting-edge AI systems, including OpenAI's ChatGPT and Tesla's full self-driving software. However, during the first quarter, some hedge fund billionaires divested from Nvidia, shifting their investments to Palantir Technologies and Supermicrocomputer two highly energized AI stocks that have delivered year-to-date returns of 59% and 198% respectively. Lewis Bacon of Moore Capital Management sold 2,006 shares of NVIDIA in the first quarter, reducing his holding by 19%. In contrast, Bacon initiated a modest position in Supermicrocomputer. Israel Englander of Millennium Management divested 720,000 shares of NVIDIA in the first quarter, reducing his stake by 35%. Concurrently, Englander increased his holdings in Palantir by 4% and in Supermicrocomputer by 235%. Philippe Lafont of Quatu Management offloaded 2.9 million shares of Nvidia in the first quarter, cutting his stake by 68%. Simultaneously, Lafont augmented his position in Palantir by 40%. Notably, trades made by Israel Englander are significant as Millennium Management has consistently outperformed the S&P 500 over the past three years. It stands as the second best performing hedge fund of all time, measured by net gains since inception. Investors should take note of the key attributes of Palantir and Supermicro. Palantir is a specialist in data analytics. Its software enables government and commercial clients to integrate data, develop artificial intelligence and machine learning models, and create applications that leverage these datasets and models for enhanced decision making. Recently, Palantir introduced its artificial intelligence platform, which adds support for large language models and generative AI to its existing software. Industry analysts have lauded Palantir for its technological expertise. Forrester Research recognized Palantir Foundry as the top AI and machine learning platform in a report from July 2022. Furthermore, Dresner Advisory Services named Palantir a leader in the AI, machine learning, and data science market in a report from August. Nevertheless, skepticism exists among other analysts. Rishi Jaluria of RBC Capital concluded, based on discussions with industry observers and company employees, that Palantir lacks significant differentiation in generative AI. Palantir's financial results for the first quarter were fairly strong, surpassing estimates on the revenue side and meeting expectations on the earnings side. The customer count rose 42% to 554, and average spending per existing customer increased by 11%. Consequently, revenue grew 21% to $634 million, marking the third consecutive quarter of sequential acceleration, and non-GAAP earnings rose 60% to $0.08 per diluted share. Chief Financial Officer Dave Glazer noted that the commercial segment benefited from unprecedented demand driven by momentum from the artificial intelligence platform. However, the stock declined 7% after the first quarter report as management projected full-year revenue growth of 20%, suggesting a slight slowdown in the coming quarters. Looking ahead, Wall Street forecasts Palantir's adjusted earnings per share to grow at 22% annually through 2026. This consensus estimate renders its current valuation of 97 times earnings quite steep. Investors should exercise caution with this stock. Supermicrocomputer designs high-performance computing platforms for enterprise and cloud data centers. Its product range includes servers and storage systems, from individual devices to complete rack solutions. These products can be optimized for applications such as artificial intelligence, intelligence, and fifth-generation infrastructure and feature chips like NVIDIA graphics processing units and Intel central processing units. Currently, Supermicro leads the market in AI servers due to its manufacturing expertise and its modular approach to product development. Nearly half of its workforce comprises engineers, and the company conducts most research and development internally. Our engineering proficiency, combined with our internal manufacturing capability, facilitates rapid prototyping and product rollout. On the other hand, Supermicro's modular product design accelerates time to market and provides clients with the flexibility to design custom solutions. The company can swiftly assemble a wide array of solutions by leveraging common building blocks across product lines. Supermicro expects to be first to market in deploying full rack clusters featuring NVIDIA Blackwell graphics processing units. This is advantageous as businesses are keen to acquire AI hardware, turning to the server manufacturer that delivers computing products to the 
market at the quickest pace. Consequently, Supermicro's AI server market share is projected to reach 23% by the end of 2024, up from 10% at the start of the year. This consensus estimate makes its current valuation of 47 times earnings appear quite reasonable. Indeed, it yields a price-to-earnings growth ratio of approximately 1. For context, using the same methodology, Palantir currently has a price-to-earnings growth ratio of 4.4. In the end, NVIDIA has seen a shift in investment from hedge fund billionaires to Palantir Technologies and Supermicro Computer, which have demonstrated significant year-to-date returns. Notable investors like Louis Bacon, Israel Englander, and Philippe Lafont reduced their NVIDIA holdings in the first quarter while increasing stakes in these burgeoning AI stocks. Looking ahead, Wall Street projects robust earnings growth for both companies. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.